What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Uh, this is the Montana Tour number seven. This is the comeback episode. We're out here at Tongue River, not going to disclose where we're at on the lake, but we are out here at the big body for some walleyes. So hopefully we can get on them. Last trip we were here, we caught crappies and perch and then that ridiculous fish at the very end. Uh, so we're out here to do it right. We're trying to hook up on some toothy critters. We're out here with a couple buddies. They're already out there. We got here kind of late last night, so we're ready to give her a good buck. We caught some crappies out of these holes last night. Crappie came in from nowhere, right in the snoot. Oh, what? Good, that was a good hook set, guys. That's like a miniature crappie right there, eh? That's a good crop, yep. Oh my goodness! Did you guys, what the f A Little bit better buck on that one, eh? Yep, there's one. Oh, this Della Bay rod, oh man. Right in the snoot, guys, right where we like it, right there. So I don't know, uh, we'll see. It's it's negative three right now. This is the high for the day, is negative three. So it's gonna be cold, it's gonna be frosty. Stay tuned, guys. We'll pick it up in the tent. Yeah, I knew he was there. I knew that was a fish. I knew that was a crappy. Yep. There he is, guys. Right there is another one. The marinin crop, right in the snoot, right where we like him. They're a little high in the water column today. Well, that's a pretty exciting little fun marinin bite, I might say. Ooh, here's one flying. Yeah, In immediately, immediately. Another crop, buys. Oh my goodness, there's a crappie on my screen right now. Two crappies. Alrighty guys, so what we're doing here is we're just sitting on a, we're pretty much sitting on a, a point, an underground point that comes out about, oh, I would say, but it drops down from about 15 feet all the way into the basin, which is 40 feet. Kind of found, here's another crappie coming up hot. He's flying, he's flying. Yep, there he is. Good buck, good buck. Another good buck, buys. Or all we're, all we're using today is that little, Shields Tournament Series Ultralight Rod. Um, I do have the Della Bay right here with a live minnow on it because if a walleye comes through, it's game over. And we're just picking the school apart right as they come along. I mean, it's pretty simple. Oh, we got a school. We got a school. We got a school. Someone's coming up for it. Yep, 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 yep. Good buck. He's a good buck. That's a good buck. That was a high school. That was a high school. Ooh. Oh. Biggest crappie of the trip. Biggest crappie of the trip. <gasps> Look at that tank. Look at that tank, you guys. Are you kidding me? That's the biggest crappie I've ever caught. In the pail you go. That was a toad. That was a toad. I saw him coming through high. There was like three of them. But yeah, guys, the uh, choice of gear we're using today is the 24-inch Shields Ultralight Rod. Super just a candy cane rod. Really portable. Super flimsy, I guess you could call it. Uh, it's only 24 inches, so it's pretty small. And then the other rod that we're using is the 36 inch Della Bay uh, medium action rod. Uh, quality rod. I love this rod. Super sensitive, especially for those little bit bigger crappies maybe or walleyes or pike. This rod will get the job done for sure. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, boys, that's the two rods that we're using today. 24 is perfect size, but uh, you know, she gets the job done. I, I just prefer this style of ice fishing, but if I'm catching bigger fish or walleye, 100% I'm using the Della Bay. Oh, oh, whoa, here's one flying. Flying. I saw that on the underwater. Oh, what a beautiful strike, guys. What a beautiful strike. See how close I am to this hole? I'm, I'm bucking right, right here. You know what I'm saying? Bucking right here. Oh, that's another decent little crop, guys. Decent little crop. Oh, his eyes are popped. Just a baby. 
He wanted to go in the ice bucket, dude. He wanted to go in there. Oh, oh. Hello there, little back. Like my man Kyle Lechner said, never, never leave a heater. Literally, word for word, what Kyle says. If it's a heater, don't leave, dude. And if it makes it to the ice, it's going to the disco. He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. Oh, got him. Bucked him. So good. Don't buck. Don't buck in that line. Do not get tangled. I knew, I literally knew he would get tangled. A little bit lower in the water column, eh? You come out of that buck. I got crappie spoon out of the bucket, dude. Alrighty, buddies, that's gonna wrap it up for us. Uh, we got some quality fish. Uh, this was number seven. We caught a lot of crappies, caught some perch, didn't see a walleye or northerns, but we still rock the beat. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in number eight, buddies. This is just the start.